You may have missed the most embarrassing moment in South African politics this week involving this guy. So if you did, let me catch you up. John Steenhuisen, leader of the Democratic Alliance and human hardy dog. No, seriously, next time you hear him speaking, just close your eyes, take in the voice. You won't be able to unhear it. This man is a human whine. Now that I think of it, he actually is giving more lurie, which is that bird that always sounds like a trust fund kid not getting a Ferrari for their 18th birthday. <laughs> So what happened with the voice of middle-class white paranoia this week? On Sunday night, Johnny John John posted on Facebook, Mr. Steenhazen was very upset and he used his Facebook page to shout, Lyft airline, worst airline in South Africa, avoid at all cost. So he's dragging the airline named Lyft, but with no further information at all. And that actually meant that quite a lot of his fans were like, this doesn't sound like John, he must've been hacked. John is far too classy to make such a statement. Turns out fans of John, you are absolutely wrong about that because John said, no, this is absolutely my real statement. And then three hours later, he said that he got a call from the CEO of Lyft to be in discussions about what happened to him. So now we're all thinking, what did they do to poor old John? And it sounded very serious. John said, I commit to a constructive discussion with them about the circumstances surrounding this evening's matter and resolving them. So what the hell happened? Well, <laughs> it turns out John Steenhazen missed his flight. He missed his own flight. And he was furious that they didn't stop the plane and wait for him. Who the hell does this guy think he is? He literally arrived too late to board. And then he threw a hissy fit because the airline was unwilling to stop a plane full of hundreds of people, pull it back along the runway to let him on. Like what a prick. If you were sitting on that airplane and you heard that somebody was trying to pull this off, you would think, what a prick. And do you know what blows my mind the most about this? He made this public. He posted on Facebook as though he had suffered some kind of grand injustice at the hand of Lyft Airlines. He told us that Lyft CEO had personally called him. Why, Lyft CEO, are you calling this random South African civilian who has acted so out of line? And this is what blows my mind every single day about the Democratic Alliance. Because surely when you're electing a leader, your number one top of mind concern is, are they electable? Are they likable? Are they likable enough that somebody would go out and give their one and only vote to you because you like them enough to think, I'd like them to be president. And all we as a country have witnessed from this man over the last how many years is whining, whinging, and petulant behavior. And to be clear, I'm not batting for or against the Democratic Alliance. I'm just saying that any competent political party might want to have a leader who's vaguely likable to put on the ballot sheet. And also, this guy's entire shtick is that South Africa is an unsavable train wreck. Every chance he gets, he's on an international news platform saying that South Africa is beyond repair. Anywhere in the world, that strategy doesn't win elections. If you want to be elected president, you have to inspire hope. But everything that this man and his party says makes it sound like South Africa is a hopeless wasteland and he's two seconds away from moving to Perth.